Here, I am going to explain you about Brownian motion. As usual, you know that particles in both liquid and gases collectively called as fluid. Do you remember that in your previous clipping, I explained that to you that liquid and gases are known as fluid because they have the property to be flow. Okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, this type of motion is called Brownian motion. That means they do so because they are bombarded by the other moving particle in the fluid. Larger particles can be moved by light fast moving molecules. Okay? Yes, sir. Or you can understand that suppose that if the particle of gases that would like to move with uncertain speed or velocity in uncertain or indefinite direction then that is known as zigzag motion actually brownian was scientist okay that was botanist robert brown okay who yes. first observed or who first gave theory in 19th century okay in 1827 he used a microscope to look at at pollen grains moving randomly in water so at this point that he could not explain why this occurred but after some after him that other scientists also explained but the concept was of brownian or mr brown that's why that they gave their name on the on his name like brownian motion okay yes sir yeah so here you can see that particles they would like to roll in in definite velocity in definite direction and also either clockwise or anti-clockwise so that type of motion is brownian motion so 1827 mr uh, robert brown gave this idea in 1905 physicist albert einstein that explained that the pollen grains were being moved by individual water molecule this confirmed that atoms and molecules did exist and proved evidence for particle theory okay a little bit that i can yes. explain that what is particle theory according to particle theory the scientific scientific theory used to explain that the properties of solid liquid and gases okay it involves yes. the arrangement and movement of particles in a substance okay yes 